Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. Uh, in this session, I am going to tell you something about web activity and how to use web activity for calling a pipeline. Okay, you may ask me uh, why do we need to learn web activity when we have an execute pipeline activity in hand, which is very easy for us to use. Yes, indeed, it's very easy. But thing is, um, execute activity, execute pipeline activity has a minus, so its capability is limited. When I say that. Uh, if you closely observe the execute pipeline activity right you should be uh, choosing the pipeline to be called uh, manually it, it's kind of hard coded you don't have the flexibility to mention the pipeline name during runtime okay so there is no way we can um, create a dynamic expression here that points to a pipeline okay so this is one reason why we cannot make use of execute pipeline activity in case our use case is to call different pipelines at different times okay so the use case would be simple if i want to load file one i should call child one if i want to load file two i should call file two it's it's my use case is like uh, at any point in time i'll just get one file i'll not get both the files so there is no point in executing both the activities or both the pipelines together or sequentially okay so that is why i want to configure my pipeline in such a way that based on the file i have to call corresponding uh, pipeline okay so for that in order to make such an arrangement while calling a pipeline we need to use a web activity all right so what is the syntax for uh, calling a pipeline using web activity so the syntax is very simple if you go to this uh, page right you will have the syntax here creates a run of a pipeline okay so if you copy and paste it it will be very simple to understand so it starts with a post keyword which means that we have to create a post request to call a uh, pipeline to execute a pipeline okay we are actually creating a pipeline run using this rest api call all right so the syntax would be very simple it starts with management.azure.com and then subscriptions followed by the subscription id in which you have your pipeline in okay and then the resource group and the resource group name in which you have created the azure data factory in and then followed by that providers Microsoft or data factory factories and factory name is nothing but the data factory name followed by that the final thing is pipeline name um, followed by the pipelines keyword okay this is the pipeline name where you can um, uh, parameterize it okay during runtime and then followed by that create run so these are all mandatory uh, parts of the rest api call and when i construct uh, my own web api call i will uh, 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 so I'll, I'll just substitute my subscription name, my resource group name which is RG demo, my data factory name which is AZ data factory demo followed by that my pipeline name. Okay, So this is how it will be constructed and I'll put as such in the web activity and followed by that. So this is the web activity. I have copy pasted that uh, URL that I constructed in the notepad and I'll choose the method as post and body what we are trying to do here is in this example uh, i'm going to call a pipeline from a parent pipeline and i need to pass on the run id of the parent pipeline to the child pipeline so if i say it it might be looking a little longer so i have a parent pipeline it which will have its own run id and i want to pass it on to the child pipeline that i'm calling using web activity okay so from child pipeline i need to make use of the run id of the parent pipeline what i'm going to do the in in, in, in this pipeline is in the child pipeline i have a uh, parameter pipeline level parameter pipeline parameter and to that parameter we will be passing the parent pipeline run id that is what i'm going to show you now that is what i'm going to show you now all right so i have a child pipeline in that i have created a pipeline parameter called parent run id and uh, it, this is to be passed from the parent pipeline and after receiving it from the parent pipeline i'm just assigning it to a local variable called variable test okay so i'm just receiving the parent pipeline and for testing purpose so that we know that um, whatever we received from parent pipeline is the actual run id of the parent pipeline all right so this is the whole setting 
uh, how do you need you need to pass the parent pipeline run id to the child pipeliners you have to put it in the body section in a json format okay the, so the first half of it is a string which ta- which which tells that um, this is the parameter name parent underscore run id followed by that the value of the run id so pipeline parenthesis dot run id this is nothing but a uh, this is a system variable that gives you the current run id of the pipeline okay so i have enclosed everything inside double quotes and everything inside uh, curly braces okay so this is how uh, it should look like if you try to do it in the dynamic content section it is not working uh, it is throwing syntax error so better type it out okay that is one one thing that i wanted to stress here all right followed by that i u- used authentication as system assign managed identity followed by that management.azure.com in the resource all right if i run this i will be encountering um, an error let me run that and show you so this pipeline 1 and pipeline um, pl child right both of them are in the same data factory as you can see here my data factory name is az data factory demo inside that i have two pipelines and uh, uh, basically both are under same azure data factory same resource group everything okay but thing is i am using web activity uh, to call my pipeline okay not one pipeline from another pipeline it, it's like uh, web activity based on the rest api call i'm trying to do so it is throwing an error so error the, so the error is this authorization failed when you closely look at it right the client uh, some object id with an object id the same bo- both are same does not have an authorization to perform uh, create run action so basically what we are trying to do we are trying to create a run uh, in that we are calling a pipeline okay so uh, over the scope uh, of the given child pipeline so thing is our child pipeline cannot be invoked by rest api call okay so what we need to do is we need to provide some uh, authorization so how do we do that is we have to go to the resource group and inside the resource group you have access control and then i have to add role assignment here i will go to contributor role and then members i will search in the members we just have to give uh, uh the data factory name az data factory demo it will be coming up so once i select what i'm doing is i'm providing the data factory uh, of this name uh, contributor role to my resource group okay so this is what i'm doing now how uh, once the role assignment is added uh, we are good to retest our pipeline okay i'll just retest it this time it should uh, run without any issues we have provided contributor role for my data factory to the resource group okay so once this pipeline execution is done um we can see the execution details in the monitor tab and in the child pipeline we will be able to see the run id of the parent pipeline so this is the parent pipeline run id 71c4 so we can check uh, uh, the monitor tab and see how it looks like so this is how uh, the child pipeline has been called so set variable we have got 71c4 which is what we looked at in the parent pipeline it has been assigned to the variable okay name variable underscore test all right so coming back to the parent pipeline i'll i'll just show you one more thing how can we parameterize the pipeline call so normally we have this uh url which is uh, being constructed here right so similar to the other expressions that we do in uh, um, pipeline activities right i can construct the url like this till this i can have it and then if you are going to get the child pipeline name from any other activity you can put that activity output here otherwise if you are going to place it in a variable and use that here you can point to that variable here and once you do that uh, i i leave a place holder here so that you can uh, you can make it dynamic uh, in whatever way you want okay so i'll just leave a place holder here followed by that all other options so this is how you can construct a um, url in a dynamic fashion 
and you can decide the pipeline to be called okay this is what i had for in this session if you have any questions regarding the same you can let me know and thanks a lot for watching um, all the videos and uh, posting your comments those who haven't subscribed to my channel i request you to do so thanks to all the subscribers and viewers for your uh, kind support thank you